this place recently opened up and there is already one on Eglinton, <laughs> just near where I live. Oh, no, never mind, it's not even open yet. They're just setting it up. Okay, I see. I see what's going on. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Hey, what's happening, guys? Alex here in the cities, actually on the borders of York and Old Toronto, but uh, I pretty much crossed over from uh, York into the Old City, so. Yeah, walking south here on Dufferin Street, which is one of the city's most uh, busiest streets. It gets insanely busy at a rush hour, especially the, uh, the uh, 29 and 929 routes. And I filmed uh, an oldest Series 1 elevator in this uh, medical building here. But anyway, uh, it's another day where it's, uh, where it's sunny, but then uh, the clouds like quickly move in, setting up for, for uh, more thunderstorms. And uh, there's supposed to be in the afternoon. Well, yesterday I did go out and um, it was only like very slightly raining and then it was like sunny the rest of the day. And uh, now today, uh, it's probably going to be like straight on uh, thunderstorms. Like, in fact, this might be the only video I'm going to film. Maybe probably after this, I'm just going to head straight home. Because by the time I'm done this video, it's going to start. And it is just before... Okay, so it's 10 to 1. Today being Thursday, June the 15th, I believe, 2023. And I just got off the 929 Express. I always try to take the 929 because obviously, as I just mentioned, it's a it's express route, it's much faster. But I don't like this route sometimes for, for uh, many reasons. First off, they're using the articulated buses, which I am not a fan of anymore because they run like absolute trash sometimes, damaging the damaging our streets, especially Dufferin. Look, you can look. Look how look how bad. Uh, look how bad this is. This is caused by these buses right here, the uh, Nova LFSs, which have been roaming on the streets for nearly ten years. But uh, I understand. But uh, obviously, I understand why. Uh, why we need or we, <laughs> this route need, really needs the Arctic's, and it's. I think. I think since the. Uh, Arctics have entered service. They've always been on uh, the 29. But again, uh, the 29 and 929, they were both extremely busy bus routes. So uh, there's probably a lot of days where there's just like only Arctics or probably like one or two 40 foot buses. But uh, I mean, I filmed a couple of rides on the, on the 929. But uh, if I'm filming a video, I try I try not to film on a, on an Arctic bus because they just run like trash sometimes. But if it's an NG hybrid or OG hybrid, I'll just take it any other day. I'm not sure what neighborhood we're in right now. I should know. I probably uh, I've been here lots of times. I think this is the Regal Heights neighborhood, at least on the right, and we might be in. Uh, we might be in uh, Corso Italia as well because this area has a huge uh, presence of Italian and Portuguese people, Spanish. Also, like most typical streets heading into the downtown core or at least uh, into the old city. We had downhill, so you know if it's winter and you're and you're operating a, a heavy vehicle, it's a, probably a big pain in the ass for you to be driving up. So. But again, I only, I only like the, uh, the 29, 929 when uh, there's 40 foot buses. And actually those are very common on weekends, but weekdays, again, everybody's at work and school. So obviously it's, uh, it's needed to handle and reduce overcrowding. I remember uh, when uh, the 29, actually this was before the Express even existed. The 29 was based out of the Wilson division. So it was using like Orion's of a, of the uh, of many types that includes the NG diesels and hybrids, EPA tens, and the high floor Orion fives. Who remembers those? And uh, when they switched it to Mount Dennis, obviously they still kept using the Arctics. 
they're pretty much in almost every division, except for like Eglinton, Division, Birchmount, Queensway. But but uh, the only difference is that uh, OG hybrids uh, also uh, run sometimes. In fact, I know there's one of the 929. I was gonna get to that, but probably in the other direction, but with this storm looming, it's unlikely. So here's Regal Road Public School. And there's a very good shot of the CN Tower from here. Or at least for my eyes, I don't think you guys can see it. As we're approaching Davenport Road. I mean, yes, I, I filmed many walking videos on Dufferin Street, but the most part that's notorious about it is that, again, it's extremely busy, at least from like Wilson to, uh, to uh, Bloor, and uh, eventually they're gonna add uh, priority lanes. I'm not sure why they're focusing on Jane first and not Dufferin, because a lot of locals have uh, expressed their concern about, uh, about uh, traffic and stuff. I honestly think Dufferin should be put uh, for, put uh, first priority, you know? I think I'll stay on this side until we reach DuPont. Then I'll go to the other side. So now it's a bit overcast as the, the, more, the more south I go. It's interesting because, the, you know, the 29 uh, with its northern terms at Wilson, it's right next to the Wilson garage, but it's not even served by Wilson, it's served by freaking Mount Dennis. Well, I, mean, I, I don't mind that because they pretty much use the same buses all like, like uh, since I was, since I was alive. Like the OG hybrids were at Wilson for a brief time, so they were on the, they were on the 29. So it's kind of bringing back like, like uh, mid to late 2000s uh, memories when these buses were brand new. Yep, each mayoral candidate has his or her own plans. Although a lot of them are similar, there's a lot who are just really committed, so I want the person that's really gonna care more about fixing our roads and housing the cost of living and reversing those friggin' transit uh, cuts that took effect in uh, early spring. Most of Duff most of this part of Dufferin is residential, but there's still a little bit of uh, activity, so it's, 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 it's uh, still worth uh, walking through. It's getting light again. I don't think it's supposed to rain until at least two. I mean, I could still, I could still head down to like Dufferin Gate to try to get that OG hybrid. This all depends on where it is right now. But if it's kind of far, or if the storm is gonna, or if the storm is just about to start, I'm probably gonna start heading home. So I'm not too too far. I mean, all I gotta do next is take the uh, the subway over to Ossington and the 63 up. I can just walk up like I did last time, or I can just, if the 109 is even there, I can just take it up. Okay, so the sun is back out now. I'm on Google Maps now to see what neighborhood I'm in. Okay, so on the other side is the Dover Court Village district and on this side is part of the uh, Junction uh, Wallace Emerson district yeah this road used to be in like very bad shape and I bet you if once once the city installs these priority lanes they're probably gonna like fix up the street a lot more, just make it all like accessible, better for, you know, uh, cars and 
Also, I forgot to mention, you know, we're getting, uh, Mount Dennis is receiving new, uh, new flyer articulated buses, and that person is just, yeah, you're on YouTube, by the way. Yep, he, she just, she just ran the red, which is, of course, totally illegal, but, uh, it's probably a common thing in this city nowadays. I don't ride a bike, but, again, so, uh, once the, uh, the XC60s come in, actually, I think it's the XDE60s, um, most of the uh, Nova Arctics, they're gonna start moving east to uh, mostly to uh, supplement uh, Line 3 uh, Skyver RT service when that line closes, and obviously shuttle buses are gonna be replacing that. Although I have low expectations for the uh, new Flyer Arctics, I don't think it's gonna be so terrible. Hopefully, it's gonna provide like a much comfortable ride than. Uh, the Nova Arctic. I mean, I've already, I, I mean, I've been on a New Flyer Arctic a couple of times, but I was like on YRT in my way. So with TDC now getting them, what do I, what should I expect? And this is a very interesting street here that I have not even filmed the video on Geary Avenue. Lots of grit here. Maybe I'll pay it a visit uh, later on in the summer. And this is the Bricks. I don't know if this is the head office or a distribution center. And whoa, look what we have here. An OG hybrid and a Nova hybrid. Okay, what, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> oh my God, is that a rad unit or is it an unscheduled trip? I don't know. But that Nova hybrid just came out of nowhere. And of course, speaking of the OG hybrids, there's one on the 29C. Yes, yeah, so I, so I don't mind riding 40 foot buses on uh, the 20. I mean, they, they run a lot better than the Arctic, co Arctic counterparts, so. But again, as I mentioned, there's only one uh, OG hybrid on the 929. I think that's 1013. As we're going underneath the CP rail subdivision. I think it's the Midtown sub, if I'm not mistaken. Long time ago, it used to be a. Uh, It used to be a uh, a passenger line. And here we are, Dupont Street. So now we're halfway through the walk. And this over there used to be a neighborhood shopping mall known as the Galleria. However, it was a couple of years ago that, or actually before COVID, at least they uh, they cut the mall in half. And I didn't really like it that much. I know you used to have a Zellers, but I wasn't really a huge fan of this place. It looked so de it looked so derelict and run down. So get ready to that place, because you know what's coming up next? Condos. Okay, yeah, so, so as you can see, there's still uh there's still a bit left of the mall, but you still got the fresh comb Planet Fitness and the, the drugstore. I I almost didn't look. It's monitored with a camera, so okay. Maybe we'll maybe we will cross to the other side uh, at the next light. But also, there used to be a McDonald's here. I remember going to that location a lot growing up. Because you know, sometimes you know, when my dad and I used to drive downtown, we would mostly come along Dupont Street. And there's the Wallace Emerson Community Center. And Fire Station 345. So now we're not too far from uh, the subway, which is where I'm gonna end the video. And I'll see if I'm gonna, see if I can make it into exhibition before I find that, that only OG hybrid on the 929 and film a ride. If not, I'll probably start heading home. I think tomorrow I might uh, make a trip to North York. Probably to like Victoria Park Avenue, McNichol area. There's a pretty interesting office park there. 
And as I mentioned, I want to film more transit rides because I'm slowly running out of content, although I'm, start I'm slowly starting that back up, but it's still not enough. And also the 42C branch, well that's gonna be done for after tomorrow, so I got my last chance. TTC is making lots of service adjustments as they do. They're introducing a new route that will replace part of the 120. And that's got an inner line with Route 104. And also uh, Route 100 is going to divert to Pape, not Broadview, because of the uh, upcoming, uh, well, because of a uh, major construction. In fact, the eastern end of the old city is going to be experiencing the most construction. And that's mostly because of streetcar uh, uh, infrastructure replacement and all that shit. I got most of them done. I just haven't done the 100 northbound yet, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that this time. <laughs> Maybe not until line five opens. And here's Hallam Street. Okay, I forgot to cross over to the other side, so we're gonna do it right here. Since we haven't done that yet. Pretty old, interesting homes here. And I can see Bloor up ahead. Okay, so the, so the blue sky is just returning, but it's not gonna be for long. Normally when I go out on weekdays, it's always like after the lunch. On weekends, it's like much later, so. Maybe I'll head to uh, the Taste of Little Italy this weekend. I have not been to that festival before, so. But I don't know if I'll get a video. I, I don't know about that. But besides, I already filmed a walk on uh, in Little Italy, so what's the point? And way further south of here is Dufferin Mall, which I've been to, which I have been going to a lot. Don't really go there as much as I used to. But that's like several blocks south of Bloor. Then most likely I'm gonna enter Dufferin Subway Station and head over to Ossington and then just take the 63 home. I prefer to like ride on the NG hybrids on the 929 more than the OG hybrids because again when I was uh, growing up before the Arctics even came I was always riding them on this route. I'd like to do it one last time before eventually all of them are confined to a uh, Mulvern. books out here. Somebody give them away or Shanty Street. That's like an old uh, old at sea uh, thing. Anyhow we're a couple blocks away from ending this. Sometimes like again sometimes I plan out my walks I do some research, I, I go on Google Maps and see how long. Or other times, it's just for the moment. Yet sometimes I don't even know where I'm going, so. Interesting mural here, but can't really see that much because of this damn tree.
This should be an interesting second half of the month with summer approaching. How many more videos am I gonna get out? I'm booking our trip to Montreal. Also reuniting with uh, friends from school and teachers as I'm gonna be at, uh, gra at uh, graduation next weekend, which is on, uh, which actually coincides with the Pride Parade, so I won't be going, I don't think I'll be going to the parade. I guess friends and or I guess friends are more important. Also another thing too with the with the pride events. Sometimes they can get really out of hand. I gotta step over this puddle here. Actually they may not out of hand, but it's just extremely crowded. It's gonna be impossible to like walk through, so that's yeah, that's very doubtful. But it should probably be an emotional weekend for me. Since there's a lot of people I'm gonna that I haven't seen since we graduated together. Though I did still see a couple of uh, people like after grad. I believe that building on the right is a is part of uh, Bell. You know, yesterday they recently <laughs> they recently just cut jobs. Uh, uh, across uh, southern Ontario. I mean, luckily, like, Toronto uh, was left out. But uh, they've cut out, like, different of their, like, like radio stations, like in Alberta and, I don't know, I think somewhere else in Ontario. But they've also closed down their bureaus in London, UK, and LA. And that's just to show how, how failing this company has become because... Uh, are they not getting enough money, or are they just... I, I, not that I know too much about that, but... But that's part of, like, Bell uh, Communications. And, uh, here's Bloor Street. And different subway station. Okay, this is the Bell Telephone Company of Canada. That's okay, so that might specialize in like tele. I don't know, but again, like Bell, they have like their different uh, subsidiaries. But uh, I think I might be good for now. I'm just gonna think of what to do next. Should I head home or I don't know what, but uh, regardless, I'm gonna end it here. Up ahead. I found a uh, Dover Impulse Elevator. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just go. He just came out of nowhere. All right. The French station and... That's it. That's all, and they've already torn down Bloor Collegiate. And they're gonna get rid of Ken Sr. as well. Look at that, eh? I just grabbed another thumbnail shot because that looks kind of surreal. But anyway, guys, so um, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, stay tuned for more videos. And check out my others as well. Enjoy your summer and uh, enjoy life. And be well, take care, and bye-bye.